I aloha i a kilauea Vi o ka akela u ka mwana Luma mua uluma hupe Ka upono kairu i ka makanu e U kinu a ka uahi i ke kainu mea i ka uila malalo Ala e ka lai o ka laau Mia na mundo ka imba mua e Thousands of miles from the nearest continent, Hawaii is the most geographically remote place on Earth. In the islands, people depend almost entirely on trans-Pacific shipping for survival. Aloha, and thank you for visiting the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Pacific Regional Visitor Center for the Honolulu Engineer District. In the next few minutes, you'll learn some amazing things about the Corps' role as partners in the Pacific, protecting, preserving, and improving the way of life for islanders and visitors alike. Let's take a look at some examples. Did you know that 80% of all goods consumed in Hawaii have to be brought here from somewhere else? And 98% of everything brought in arrives here by ship. Before the Corps built deep draft harbors on the neighbor islands, large cargo vessels had to anchor well offshore and transfer their contents to smaller boats. To get livestock from the big island over to Oahu, cattle had to be put directly in the water and hoisted onto ships by crane. Let's just say it was not the most efficient way of doing things. Deep draft harbors built and maintained by the Army Corps of Engineers changed all that, offering port access for large commercial ocean liners and saving consumers millions of dollars in transportation costs every year. Careful planning goes into the development and maintenance of these harbors. In many cases, exact scale models are built before construction begins to make sure large ships will be able to get in and out as efficiently as possible. Incredibly, a savings of just 15 minutes per trip and maneuvering time for a major cargo vessel can result in tens of thousands of dollars per year in reduced operating costs. And it's not just deep draft harbors the Corps develops, but small boat harbors as well to ensure safe and reliable commercial and recreational boating for island communities throughout the Pacific. In fact, the Honolulu Engineer District's area of responsibility isn't limited to Hawaii, but stretches across the ocean as far as the territory of Guam and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands in the west and as far south as American Samoa, covering more than 9 million square miles across four different time zones. It's the largest geographical area covered by any core district. The Army Corps of Engineers has a long history of partnership in the Pacific. Corps projects usually start as partnerships with state and local government agencies. Final project approval and funding comes from the United States Congress, while local partners share in the project costs. For the Corps of Engineers to become involved, the social, economic, and environmental benefits to the community must outweigh the development costs. Most early core projects in Hawaii were focused on building navigation aids, like the landmark Makapu'u Lighthouse, built in 1909. The core also built coastal fortifications for the defense of the Hawaiian Islands, including Battery Randolph at Fort Derusi on Waikiki Beach, now the home of the Corps Pacific Regional Visitor Center. Since those early days, the Corps has remained focused on both military construction and water resource projects to keep the island safe and secure. The Corps conducts shore protection studies of Waikiki Beach with local and state agencies to assure the long-term preservation of the beach and also builds breakwaters and other rock structures throughout the islands to maintain harbors and important shoreline areas. 
Specially shaped rock structures like these at Sand Island Beach Park preserve the shoreline by reducing destructive wave energy. Remarkably, every single stone is carefully set in place to achieve the desired wall shape. The result is a surprisingly even surface based entirely on the natural shapes of boulders that can weigh up to 10 tons each. Protecting the people of the Pacific Islands from hurricane and flood damage is another task the Corps takes seriously. The Hawaiian Islands and other Pacific Island communities are very vulnerable to hurricanes, floods, and tsunamis, or tidal waves. Flood control projects developed by the Corps have prevented hundreds of millions of dollars in property damage. At the Kaneohe Kailua Dam in Woodward, Oahu, runoff from the Ko'olau mountain range has gathered to create a beautiful reservoir. But just on the other side of the embankment lies a quiet residential community. Floods here in the 1960s caused severe damage and loss of life. Storms can drop more than two feet of rain into the Ko'olau Basin in less than 24 hours. But since the Corps completed the dam in 1980, there's been no more flooding. And in the process of building one of the most effective flood control systems in the Pacific, the Corps also created a world-class recreational area and nature preserve, featuring the Ho'omalohia Botanical Garden, campsites, and a visitor center. really should try to make it over here for a visit. If you have time, it's one of the best kept secrets in town. At the nearby Kauai Nui Marsh, the Corps has succeeded in a major wetlands preservation effort. Wetlands are a precious natural resource protected by federal regulations. Once the site of major flooding, this core project has resulted in the preservation of vast areas of open space right at the edge of Kailua Town, providing a secure habitat for endangered water birds. Nearly two miles of gentle channels carry runoff from the mountain streams safely out to sea, preventing any future flooding of residential areas. You've seen some examples of harbor improvement, shoreline protection, flood control, and wetlands preservation but the Corps is responsible for much more. Did you know it was the Army Corps of Engineers that built the Defense Department's Hale Koa Hotel in Waikiki, the Tripler Army Medical Center, the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific at Punchbowl, and on the mainland, even the Washington Monument? You can think of the Army Corps of Engineers as your partners in the Pacific, protecting, preserving, and improving. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your visit. Aloha.